Sarah from the upcoming. So such a pleasure to speak to you again. Oh. <laughs> um, so, you know, what can people expect overall from, from the show for this season, but also particularly your character? Um, uh, the storylines really, really push all of the characters to the brink, and um, uh, and after this season, Hello. nothing will Hello. ever be the same again. Really and these sets just seem. Um, it's really striking just how epic all these sets are. Um, is it ever intimidating walking onto there or is it, are there any challenges or it's just always amazing? It's magical walking onto the sets, like really, really magical and uh, just incredible and you're, you're just awestruck by the incredible artistry that goes into making these sets and creating these worlds. It's amazing, it's a real, it's an honour and a privilege. And this amazing cast you get to work alongside, but in particular Henry, what did he bring to this, this role of the Witcher and do you feel a bit emotional seeing it? The and being handed to, to Liam? Um, he, he set up Geralt as the world knows him in the TV series. He delivered him to the world and um, it's really exciting to see what he did with it. And I feel really celebratory that we've got to have him for three seasons and I feel really excited to see what Liam does with it next. It's going to be great. In terms of the themes that you're mentioning there, they get explored like fa family, found family, but also this idea of neutrality and the politics of it all. Can we have clear cut, cut bad and evil and good and evil, or, or is there always a grey area? I think that's the big thing. Like we're living in a world now as well that's very polarised, and The Witcher explores that in a fantasy kind of element. And polarisation is one of the most dangerous things we can do. It's all about the grey areas. Overall, Everything is a grey area. And it's important that we take the time to meet compromise and meet meet each other as, as in the middle. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm being, I'm being cheeky. So I'm going to stop slagging her off now. So, uh, um, you, uh, uh, I've missed you so much. Yeah, this is the end of you now. How much have you missed you? I know, he's a, like, honestly, what a dream boat. I know. This is, uh, this is my joy. I get to come to work and work with people like this. I know. Treat, treat. Have you done? Are you? Are you? I don't know. I haven't. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Any questions? I'll just do it. Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah answer this, because I, I can't do it without spoiling it. Okay. Yeah. No. I know it's tricky. So I would say what's interesting about this is the theme of family that's explored in this season. So um, the, but not necessarily family that you're born into, family that you choose, which is very much like this family here. You know, very much chosen, very much loved, and how important those bonds are. But also what happens when those bonds are challenged, and uh, when betrayal um, rears its ugly head in the midst of it which it does dun, 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 that's it because they are blooming wonderful actors but you don't also, just have to talk about they me are really, you really don't just kind. have to talk you can talk about other people but i'm talking about everybody and including you they're wonderful actors and just wonderful human beings like it's really fun yeah. to be on set um people look after each other they take care of each other they have fun with each other and um yeah we have a good laugh and you get each other through you know it's, yeah. it's so intense the day like i said the days are so long it's it's, it was so hot last year, it was intense, but like we, we get each other through it and you have to have that bond and we yeah. do. Yeah, we're so lucky. I know. So lucky. Well, I think very much season one, it was very much like a daughter and a child relationship. And then in season two, it was like a, do a, a mother and, um, I mean, a mother and a child. And that season two was mother and a teenager. And now, like it's a mother. You're never in my way. You're never in my way. To see, it's like, mm, I love you. Oh, God, I'm going to steal your mic. Um, it's now in season three, it's very much like a mother and a, her grown uh, daughter. And she, and that's what's really exciting that that evolution has happened. And now, very, very much so, um, Yennefer has arrived at a place where she is all grown up, and she's very much a mother herself. Slovenia, Slovenia. There's an incredible castle that is built into a rock wall. It was one of the most incredible locations I've ever been at. Um, so you're going to get to see that. Um, we did some incredible filming in Wales, where literally there was one day where the rain was just like coming at us horizontally, and we stood up on this mountain and just looked out over those valleys and sang happy birthday to Michalina, whose birthday it was. Who sadly is not here with us today, but we love you, Michalina, and we're thinking of you. Come on. It's, it's super rare, because you never know if a series is going to carry on, you know, for more than one season. Um, so it will all happen at all, even. But, so it's wonderful to have been able to do three seasons so far, and, and to have a cast like this that so many of us get on really well, so many of us have been dear friends. There is something about seeing each other again and again, and it's um, returning to each other. It's wonderful.